$14,379. How can that be? You want an itemized account? You took out uh, two front doors, one front window, 12 feet of counter, plus uh, damages to the stock, plus uh, one city vehicle totaled. Not to mention three hostages in the hospital, all of whom will probably sue the city. For what? Excessive use of force. For your information, Callahan, the minority community's just about had it with this kind of police work. By the minority community, I suppose you're talking about the hoods. It so happens they are American citizens, too. And what about the lady with the shotgun stuck in her ear? I'm not going to debate this with you, Inspector. I've been on the phone to the mayor twice this morning. He went right through the ceiling over this. Did you tell him about the meeting? What meeting? The meeting right here in your office two months ago when you said high priority was run these hoods out of San Francisco. I never said to use violence. Well, what would you want me to do, yell trick-or-treat at him? Come on, Harry. I expect you and every other man on this force to behave with restraint or turn in his resignation. You're on notice, Callahan. This little Wild West show of yours yesterday is exactly the kind of thing this department's no longer prepared to tolerate. Is that clear? Yes, sir. That's all, Captain. I've got work to do. But not in homicide. What? You've been transferred to personnel. To personnel? That's for assholes. I was in personnel for 10 years. Yeah. That's it. You report tomorrow to the oral examining board. Nine o'clock on the dot. No, no, you haven't got the picture. I'm the robber. You're the cop. Now, I'm in a market, see? And you've just caught me? Dead bang at 2.11 in the act. But I'm coming out, see, and I got a hostage. A kid with a gun at his head. There's no way you're going to take me alive. Now, you've got 10 seconds to make up your mind. Here I come. What are you going to do? One. You're, two, you're under arrest. Three. Four. This is a boy or a girl? Do something. Seven. How, how tall eight. is he? Don't just stand there, goddammit. Do something. Cut. Dead. You're late, Callahan. Sorry about that. Hello, Chris. Hi. All right, Bustanobi. You'll be notified of your grade. We were told to be here at 9 o'clock. We have 50 officers out there to test. For how many vacancies? Eight. We have five men and three women. Promoted to inspector out of this group. Three women. Do you object, inspector? Now, who might you be? Oh, this is Ms. Grave, the mayor's staff. She's here to monitor these examinations. Uh, this is Inspector Callahan. Oh, yes, I know something of Inspector Callahan. And I'd like to tell you, Inspector, it is the mayor's intention that this department be brought more into line with the mainstream of 20th century thought. Just how does he figure to do that, Mrs. Gray? Well, for, for one thing, his honor intends to uh, broaden the areas of participation for women in the police force. That sounds very stylish. I think he also said something about uh, winnowing the Neanderthals out of the department. Well, I guess we better get on with it. Next applicant. Officer Moore? Yes, sir. As you know, this is the final stage in your examination. It's a rather informal test in which we try to get some line on your ability to think on your feet, your reaction to stress and pressure, your ability to apply the law in a hypothetical situation and so on, OK? Yes, sir. How long have you been on the force? Nine years. What department? Mainly personnel and records. Personnel and records, huh? Yes, sir. Harry? Hmm? Have you any questions for the applicant? Questions? How fast do you run the 100? Come on, Callahan. You know how this board functions. Sorry. You know that 
if you make inspector under the mayor's new guidelines, that you might just be out riding in a police car? Yes, sir, that's what I'm hoping for. Well, Officer Moore, maybe you'll tell us all here about your most important felony arrest. I've never made a felony arrest. Well, maybe you'll tell us about your best misdemeanor arrest, then. I've never made a misdemeanor arrest, either. <clears throat> then what the hell gives you the right to become an inspector when there's men have been out there on the street for 10 or 15 years? The woman's place is in the home. Is that what you're trying to say? What do you think this is, some kind of encounter group? I want to know what Officer Moore is going to do when somebody points a gun at her and says, hit the deck, you son of a bitch! You're just deliberately trying to fail this candidate, aren't you, Callahan? Well, if she fails out there, she gets her ass blown off. It's my ass. And, uh, my hard luck. Except that out there, you're gonna have a partner. And if you get blown away, he gets blown away with you. And that's a hell of a price to pay for being stylish. Are you finished with the questioning, Callahan? Hypothetical situation, huh? All right, I'm standing on the street corner. And Mrs. Gray there comes up and propositions me. To, if I come home with her for five dollars, she'll put on an exhibition with a Shetland pony. If this is your idea of humor, Inspector. All right, what are you trying to do here, Callahan? I'm just trying to find out if anybody in this room knows what the hell law is being broken besides cruelty to animals. That's a conspiracy under Title Seven, Section 182, Paragraph 1 of the California State Penal Code. A conspiracy to commit a misdemeanor is, in fact, a felony. And according to People versus uh, Bashore in yes, 1965... Yes, that's right. That's... Good answer. Thank you, Officer Moore. You'll be notified of your grade. 